Okay, fun space fact, there are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on every beach and desert combined. And with the new James Webb telescope, we have a better way to view them. My name is Joseph, and this is the Atlanta Journal-Constitution in context. So before we talk about some of the awe-inspiring images coming from the deepest parts of our universe, we need to answer the question, what is the James Webb Telescope? Well, it's the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, telescope that's meant to work alongside the Hubble, which has been floating around 340 miles above the Earth's surface since April 24th, 1990. And over the past 32 years, the Hubble has given us some incredible images that are truly foundational to our understanding of the universe. Initial designs for the James Webb Telescope started around 1996, and it's named after James E. Webb, who is the administrator of NASA from 1961 to 1968, during the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo missions. Now, it would take NASA 20 years and $10 billion to complete construction of the telescope in 2016. Then, in December 2021, the James Webb Telescope was launched into space, set to hover 930,000 miles above the Earth's surface. Now, according to NASA, this telescope has greatly improved in infrared sensitivity and resolution, which allows it to see parts of the universe too distant and too old for the Hubble. And now, in July 2022, we finally get to see the product of three decades of work. Of all the images we got from the James Webb Telescope, we're going to take a look at my personal favorite. If you want to see all the images, there'll be a gallery right below that like button. This is an image of the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula, which has peaks as high as seven light years tall. Now, to really illustrate what a leap forward in technology the James Webb Telescope is, here's that same nebula taken from the Hubble. Now, according to NASA, this is a very, very young system. Since the nebula is, is in our own Milky Way galaxy, some of the hundreds of light spots you see are actually stars, and each one of them could have planets within their solar systems. And in the background, some, some of the more faint, almost smudge-like light are actually other galaxies, with an average of 100 billion stars per galaxy. Now, according to NASA, we can tell this is a very young system because of those huge young stars at the top rim. Now, the brownish orangish cloud beneath some of those stars is actually gas and dust and gas and dust are great raw materials for baby stars and baby planets now i love this image because it reminds me everything everything we see touch and feel was ultimately made by the same gas dust and stars we can now see with the new james webb telescope now i know looking at these images and thinking about their immense scale can be daunting it can make us feel small and what happens here is insignificant Again, but I will leave you with this fantastic point said by science communicator and crash course inventor Hank Green. Scientists estimate that, that the universe is 13.7 billion years old and life on Earth started 3.7 billion years ago, which means life on this watery rock in the Milky Way has been around for about 27% of the universe's life. So we might not take up much space, but we've taken up a lot of the universe's time. If you want a pixel peep like I did and look at the details in every corner of these images, I highly suggest you go to NASA's website and download the full resolution images. They will also make for a stellar background. What do you think about space and, and the new James Webb telescope? Let me know any and all thoughts in that comment section down below. And hey, while you're down there leaving that carefully worded comment, go ahead and press that subscribe button if you haven't already so you never miss a video. Go ahead and press that like button if you would like this video. Share with somebody who needs to know the news and the context around the new telescope. But as always, my name is Joseph and this is the Atlanta Journal-Constitution in context.